Okay, Shalom Israel. It's like it. Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Fadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Hey, man, we at the door, man. You know, we almost out of here, man. And, um, therefore, you know, just a message to the Akim, man, out there, hey, pushing this word, man. Those that fear, rather, to the hopeful elect, cover your ass. Or no, do do the work, cover your ass. That's what I'm going to name it. Do the work, cover your ass. All right, because, um, I'm, well, I'm going to just let the uh, scripture speak. All right, so this is Revelations 22 and 10. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Okay? And that's heavy, man. It started off heavy, man. Through the Spirit and Power, you have Bashim Yahweh Shah, you had me start there. All right? And, um, you know, just, hey, just further proving why we got to be hot right now because so many prophecies is happening, man. All right? It's so many prophecies is happening, man. The chip being pushed in, over there in China, over there in India. All right? Um, Trump, I, I, I seen an article to where Trump is talking about, um, you know, uh, basically pulling America out of NATO. All right? I believe now Trump is uh, threatening Turkey. All right? You know, these other, uh, these other uh, uh, um, so-called... Um, America's so-called alliances are turning on them. Okay, you know, China, you know, China uh, is threatening America. You know, what I'm saying to get out. You know, to uh, yeah, hey, China's threatening America now. You know, you got the trade war going on. You got this government shutdown. You got Jake going crazy because of the government shutdown. You got protests all all over the world. So it says, and he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. So as the prophecies are speaking, the prophets should be speaking right along with them. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And as the Apostle Tahar said in one of his previous lessons, if you ain't on fire right now, you ain't never gonna be on fire. All right, and and um, you know, as I read, I was I was thinking about that, man. Which is, it makes sense if, if, as we just read, man, it makes sense because if you're unjust, even though all these prophecies are happening, you're still gonna scoff at the word. All right, that's what the unjust does. That's what the adversary does, man. Being Esau Edom, the so-called white man, all right, and his uh his lesser and luminaries, the two thirds, man. Okay. So it says, "He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, because the righteous, all right, would uh, hey, do more for the heavenly Father right now, man." Because they fear. Okay? And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Okay? It reads on the saying, Behold, I come quickly. So Yahweh Shah is coming quickly, man. These prophecies are rolling, popping like popping off like popcorn. You know? The scriptures speak about um as these prophecies being like a um a woman in travail. You know, because uh these prophecies would be um and these prophecies would be uh, uh Liken it to um, birth pains Okay These prophecies are likened it to birth pains To where You know Alright That baby is getting ready to uh, come out Alright You know by the uh, The uh, the frequency of the contractions man Alright And there's earthquakes every day Alright There's wars You know what I'm saying Popping off every day there's new news about the chip coming out every single day. All right. So it says, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work should be. Okay. So 
Yeah, it's about to go down, man, in the streets, man. There's going to be a lack of food and water. Hey, it's going to be a lack of faith, man. Okay? But the Lord said his reward is with him. All right? So, um, let's look up this word, uh, reward. But you got it right here. That's a more line. Which is a reward. A regarding, heeding, observation. From Anglo-French and Old North French reward. Back formation from you order. Meaning repayment from some service. All right? So, Yahweh is saying his reward is with him. All right? Or well, he's coming to repay for whatever you have done, man. Whether your service was good or bad. Okay? In Revelation 19, he says, basically, he's going to avenge the blood of the saints. So, that's Esau's reward. Esau's reward is also slavery because he put the saints in slavery, man. All right? Two-thirds of your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your reward. All right? Like, uh, Yahweh told uh, Jeremiah... You know, his heart could not be towards his people because of their iniquities. All right. In Jeremiah 15, chapter, he says, that is for the sword to the sword, for the famine to the famine, for the pestilence to the pestilence, so on and so forth. Okay. So that's their reward, man. And ultimately, for the two thirds, for the heathen, for those, for two thirds, for heathen, for Esau, ultimately their reward is nuclear missiles, man. Which Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, is going to allow them to feel it, man. They're going to feel it. And then Esau is going to come back in the kingdom as slaves. And that's that, That's more so, their, that's also their reward. Like I, I mentioned before in Revelation 13 and 9, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay? So, but the righteous, their reward, all right, their reward is to be preserved from the set perils as the one third. You know, well, you had the one third in the elect, all right, which they considered the righteous man, and their reward for their service is to be re to be preserved from these perils, man, to be preserved from taking a chip, okay, to be preserved from nuclear missiles, because they hearken unto you how about Shimei was shot now, they had faith when the world did it, man, okay. All right, so this is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is. All right? Which the elect and the one-third is going to be calling on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh means he is or he exists. And Yahweh Shah means he is the Savior, which if you call on Yahweh, you believe that he sent his son as your Savior, Yahweh Shah, which is a so-called black man. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And how is the Most High going to reward us? All right. By that wisdom and knowledge, man, by this word. Okay. Which is important for us, which is why it's important for us. To go out there on the highways and byways, which was uh, a com a commanded of us actually. All right, in Luke 11, uh, 14 and 23, it says, "Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come into the marriage." That's an actual commandment. Which the highways and hedges is the highways and hedges. All right, is the chief place of, con of concourse in your city, man. The downtown areas. Okay. And um, uh, as far as lessons go, as far as lessons go, that builds your mind up throughout the week, man, and your so-called free time, man. All right? Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures say. You know? Which we can grab that, actually. This is Romans. Chapter 12, verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Going out there against the elements, whether it be super cold or super hot, in season, out of season, as the scriptures say, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So this is our reasonable service. 
all right which we just read a, a reward is what a payment for some service all right so what if a person if a person does good service you're gonna pay them you know according to that service man you know and you're gonna keep them on man all right whereas another person that get, does bad service you know coming to work late you know giving you attitude every time you ask him to do something guess what he's gonna get fired man and that's two-thirds of our people that they, 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 they both are about to fire him man pun intended <laughs> all right it says and be not comforted to this and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God and how are we going to prove that okay by studying and proving the um the word of the Lord man proving it to be true within our lives man all right and then that's how also how the Lord is going to bless us man the scriptures say what wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of thy salvation so, hey, you're going to have many that don't have the wisdom and knowledge, man. Because it, it wasn't given to them. As a matter of fact, the Most High told Isaiah to shut their eyes, man. This is Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, go and tell these people, hear ye indeed. But understand not and see ye indeed, but perceive not. All right, because this word is a mystery and it's only given to a certain people. When you go into Matthew's 13th chapter, the disciples ask you, How shall why speak ye in parables? And how shall said, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right, the faith was only given to a select few. All right, I believe in the book of First Peter, it says, The elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High. All right, so they were uh, basically here before. Hey, they were here before the uh, earth was even formed, man. All right, so this is Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. And the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaken in the midst of the land. All right, so that's the reward of the two thirds, man. All right, because a hey, attribute of the the elect is that hey, their heart would be pure to the heavenly Father, man. Okay, the heart would be a, uh, you know, uh, it's like you're pure with the heavenly Father. This is uh, Psalms chapter eighteen. Verse uh, 20. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. Okay, going back to that word, word reward according to what his righteousness. Which is, alright, we just read the righteousness or the reasonable service. Alright, is you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Alright, and the body is nothing without what? The mind. All right, so you present your mind into your how about shimmy how shy. All right, you present your body, you know, and as well as your mind, you know, when you're camping. All right, and on the so-called off days, in your free time and your liberty, you present your mind into your how about shimmy how shy. Okay, therefore, what you're completely there with your how about shimmy how shy at all times. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness. According to the cleanness of my hands, have he recompensed me? All right. What is Shahabashim Yahweh Shai who makes us clean? Let me uh, put that too. All right. 
Because, uh, you know, the scriptures also say that our work is filthy rags, man. All right. So which is also more, more, more reasoning. All right. For us to uh, plead and beg Yahabashim Yahushai to forgive us. All right. And save us from these times, man. Pray for mercy. Pray for forgiveness of your iniquities. Pray for confidence in the Lord. All right. And to remember all the good things that the Lord have done for you. So it says, the Lord rewarded me to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands, have he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Yahweh and have not wickedly departed from the Lord, from my power. Okay. For all his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes from me. All right. And the Lord is showing his judgments through these prophecies. And you still have guys who choose not to see it. That's them putting away his statutes from, from, from them. I was also upright before him. And I kept myself from my iniquity. So you keep your, your spirit from your flesh. Okay. Therefore have the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hand and his sight. With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou wilt show thyself forward. Okay? So, hey, man. Like I say, cover your ass. Hey, do the work. Cover your ass, man. All right? And also, you know, this that too. You know, doing the work. It, um... You know, you, uh, you edify, you know, you edify too, man. You're not just only being built up, but you're helping others being built up, man. Which is, that's the fruit of the spirit is love, man. All right. Hey, so with that, Lord willing you, I can edify. Shalom to the elect.